so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Zotero. Z-O-T-E-R-O, -E Zotero. It is a citation and reference manager. Um, more or less, that just means that it is a very useful tool for organizing and collecting and citing research. Um, so articles, books, um, pretty much anything you can find, newspapers, um, anything you might be using to write a research or a um, research paper or a project of some kind um, or a bibliography. Um, so we're going to kind of get started here as I walk you through how to get this downloaded. So um, welcome to my screen. Um, one of the things that um, I'm going to do is we're going to open, open up a internet browser. So in this case, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And we're going to go to Zotero.org. So like I said, Z-O-T-E-R-O dot org. Um, and we are going to hit this download button. That red download button is going to send us to this page. Um, and we have a couple different options here. We have um, this option here on the left, which um, you'll end up doing no matter what. Um, I'm just going to give the little forewarning just right up front that this does say Zotero for Windows. So if you are not using a computer that uses Windows but maybe uses Mac instead, um, you won't click here on this blue button. You will instead come down here to where it says Other Platforms. You will click on Mac OS and you will download it from there. Otherwise, if you have a Windows computer um, that you are using, you will just click on this blue download button here in the middle, and that will get that process started. So when I click on it, it puts the download um, file down here into the left corner. Um, it may not do that for you, so just be aware that your download where it goes to download it may stick it up in um, the left hand corner up towards the top it may stick it into a downloads folder on your computer um, it may also stick it over here on the right hand side up towards the top so just be aware that when you click download it may show up in a bunch of different places so in my case if i click on that file I get a little screen that says extracting um, and then I get um, after it's finished up extracting I get this little Zotero box that shows up that says welcome to the Zotero setup wizard um, so what I would do is I would then just click next through that um, and it's going to give me that option of like choosing the type of setup that I prefer. I'm just going to say standard and I would just continue to keep hitting the next button until I've gotten all the way through it. Um, in my case, I'm then getting a cute little box um, that's smaller that tells me that I need to close the tarot um, to proceed with installation. Don't worry about that. If you happen to see that, um, in my case, it is I am seeing that because I have already installed Zotero, um, so that's just the option that it's giving me. So yeah, we would just continue to click the next buttons um, all the way through. So in my case, I'm going to cancel um, because like I said, I already have it downloaded. But in your case, you would continue to go through those boxes until you get all the way to the end. So. Um, this then will give you um, an icon. The icon um, for you to then get into Zotero may um, be on your desktop right on the front screen like it would be in my case. So in my case, I'm going to show you guys that. So if I were to minimize my window, my Zotero shortcut shows up over here on the left side at the very bottom. Um, 
So once again, I can kind of click on it and I can show you that this is what it looks like once you have installed Zotero. So I'm going to just minimize that and we are going to go back to our window in Chrome. So this next piece relates to this box over here on the right hand side. So in using Zotero, um, I could easily just use the Zotero on its own. I don't have to do this, but this is a easier way to kind of save and collect things um, that you find that you want to use for your research. So that Zotero connector, in my case, because I am using Google Chrome, it is giving me the option to install a Chrome connector. Um, this will not always be the case. If you are using any other internet browser, so let's say you're using Firefox or you're using Internet Explorer, it is going to give you those options. And I will very quickly, I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open up another internet browser so that you guys can see what that looks like. So I'm opening up Firefox and I'm going up to the top and I'm going to Zotero.org. I'm just going to make this a little bigger for you guys to see. So once again, like I said, box over here on the left, nothing has changed. It still says the tarot for Windows. It still gives me the option to download, and it still gives me an option if I wanted to download the Mac version. But over here on the right-hand side, I get the option of installing a Firefox connector. Um, you can also go down here to where it says the tarot connectors for other browsers. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily have to open up the internet browser the same way that I did, but you could instead click Zotero um, connector, um, other options, and you would get um, some of these. So Chrome connector, Safari connector, Edge connector, uh, and then I could just hit install. Um, so back to our original screen. So just so you guys know, um, then if you hit that install Chrome connector, in my case, it sends me here um, to this page. And in my case, like I said, I have already added the extension. So in my case, it says remove from Chrome. Um, that option is actually going to read as add extension. So then I would click on that. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like in my um, computer under Chrome. So when I added the extension, it stuck it up here. It's this cute little like puzzle piece. And if I hover over it, hover over it, it says extensions. So I then was able to click there. And this is just a recommendation from me, but um, it does like list the tarot connector. And one of the things that I did was I hit this little push pin over here at the side. Um, like I said, it says unpin extension but that's just because I have it pinned. So I hit pin extension. It then moved the extension out of this puzzle piece option where I had to click to find it, and it then stuck it next to it. So next to it now, I have this option to save things to Zotero. So we are going to open our Zotero. Um, so this is kind of what you should end up arriving at. Um, and of course, it's going to give you those different options that just says if you want to view, quick, view the quick start guide to learn about how to build your library, make sure that you also install your connector so that you can add things as you're browsing the web. We will get into some of those pieces um, in the next video. This is just the uh, introductory video to get you all downloaded and installed. Um, so stay tuned.